All right, today's video is going to be a little bit different. We are not building cars, but we are going to be building something to protect our cars. A few weeks ago, I had two carports show up from Sunjoy that are ready for us to put together and build on the compound. I've been wanting to put a carport out here for forever, the Florida sun is no joke and we have so many trees that have insane pollen pretty much all year long like raining down on our cars and i want to protect all of my babies out in front of my shop so this right here is where i'm going to be building a carport today right here is what our first one showed up in these boxes are pretty heavy i think this alone weighs like oh boom 400 pounds but inside this box is a 20 by 14 foot full carport. All right, going on this carport adventure with me today is Jim. <laughs> Jim is the tallest person on the compound. How tall are you? 6'5". 6'5", boom. So between 6'5 and 5'4", we should be set on setting this thing up. I've never built a carport before. You've right. never built one no. before, but we're gonna learn as we go. We think everything is in this one box. I should have had two sent over, and I have two boxes, so we're gonna open this up, make sure we have everything that we need, and get started. For how big this box is relative to like other things that you did in packages, it is pretty small though for like a 14 by 20 foot, 10 foot tall carport. So we're gonna open it up, see what we find, and figure this out together. <laughs> All right, so inside the box, the roofing materials were on the top. So this is their brown tinted polycarbonate roofing that's gonna be at the very top. It's semi-transparent as well. They have two different options. They have this one, which is their 20 by 14. I wanted the bigger one, and I like the aesthetics of this one to match like the vibe of the compound and everything. And they have another one that is 12 by 20 instead of 14 by 20. So slightly smaller, but it's more of a gray tones to it instead of the brown on this one. All of the beams and everything are powder coated black and weather resistant as well, just like the top piece. So now that we have our roofing separate, we're gonna put that off to the side and then organize all these beams and pieces right here, make a game plan, and then start building this. Aha, we did think that this wasn't enough pieces to build the big carport that we are putting together right now, and we were correct. So the other box isn't my second carport, it is the second box for this carport. So we're heading over to the other shop right now where I have it, we're gonna put it on the forklift, bring it back over, and then unbox that one as well. <laughs> Jim and I were starting to freak out because we hadn't found the instructions yet. And then we lifted up that box and we found this big bold print instruction. So we are all set now. And this of course comes with all of the hardware that we'll be needing as well. Most of our pieces are laid out now, or we just know what's remaining in both of the boxes. Jim just laid out our six main pillars, fronts, middle, and back. And this is about how big it's gonna be. I think these might end up further down. But to give you an idea, from there to probably further back here is gonna be the footprint that the carport takes up. It's pretty clear on here, all the steps. Started by taking out all the main pillars and securing the bottom parts of them. And now we're just gonna follow along and see what this thing looks like when it's done. Jim and I are on step four and we already have the full sides of the carport laid out. Ended up pulling it a little bit further back here to have more space to work 
on the front. This is gonna be so crazy. I'm so excited to have this set up, you guys. And now we're putting together the front, middle, and back cross beams to then connect our entire like main frame. back and middle pieces are built, but in order to attach them, we're gonna have to hold up each side. So I think we're gonna lift it up and then I'm just gonna try and hold it up while Jim attaches the front, middle, and back. The last few bolts on the main frame. Wow. We're done pretty much, right? Ah, almost. <laughs> so disclaimer, when we first opened up the instruction manual, it does say that this job might require five people. And Jim and I are like, nah, we got this. I'm at least like almost one person, right? And then Jim's like at least two people. So I think we're gonna be pretty solid. The only time where it got a little sketch was putting together the two long sides of the main frame. So Marco came and helped us out and we were putting on the second side because he had to like lift it up with Jim while I was just holding on for dear life to the center post, trying not to let any of this fall down. And then Marco helped a little bit too with like the center pieces. But now that the main structure is here, maybe, maybe we'll be fine. We'll figure it out as we go, but you can now see the exact full footprint that this thing is going to take up. It literally looks like this concrete pad was put here just for this carport. This is gonna be pretty sick. We might be able to fit two cars side by side. I don't know. Originally, the plan was to only have one under here, but this is pretty wide, so we'll see when it's all done. So this was the beginning of our roof structure. We got the three main parts of the roof, and then now we're making the post that goes down, and then each one of these are gonna connect to the brackets on the top that Jim was just putting all on the top beam. Before putting the start of our roof structure on, we decided to do these side supports that connect from the main vertical beam to the top beams first. There's so many of these and there's just a bunch of brackets that you need to put on. And it kind of worked out because I was just setting up the bottom of it and then Jim was putting in the top two bolts since I am short and I got all of those and then he did the top one. So I'm gonna go around and tighten all these. I was just getting them in position so Jim to tighten up the tops and then our side support ones will be completely done and then we'll start putting on the roof structure. Roof time. So we're busting out the 12 foot ladder. Don't really know how this is gonna work out. I think I go on the ladder and then Jim hands me the roof and then I just hold it in the center while Jim does the zzz, zzz, you know? Nick, what do you think of this idea? Oh, such a good idea. So, you guys are doing great. Sounds like a great yeah. plan. <laughs> We got our entire carport frame 
laid out and that is where we are going to be stopping for this video. It was raining today in traditional Florida fashion so we ended up only being able to start on this a couple hours ago, a couple hours before the sun is going down. We have a sunset right now so it's about to get completely dark so we'll just finish this tomorrow. It's done in just a couple hours with two and a half people. A couple times you would have seen that we needed a third person to step in and the instructions say that you should have five people but you can kind of make it work with three and definitely like two and a half if you have a third person that will step in every now and then. But man, this is already looking so good. I love these side pieces on here. It makes it look so fancy and we got our whole structure done. These are our remaining beams and pieces, and then we have our roof over here. So sit around for part two of building my Sunjoy carport. Again, this is a 20 foot by 14 foot carport. I'll be treating my cars a lot nicer, getting them out of the hot Florida sun once this is completed. So if you guys are interested in getting a carport for yourself, check out the link in the description to use it for 10% off your Sunjoy carport. They have two different options one is the one that we are building that is a brown aesthetic one that is the 20 by 14 foot and they also have a gray one that is 20 by 12 feet so this has been pretty cool I've definitely never built a card port before and this is way easier than I thought it would be so that is it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one